In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the distributor on your engine and then how to test the timing for that distributor and then how to correct that timing. So don't go anywhere, let's go ahead and get right into it. First up is installing the distributor. Now I know you probably aren't going to be doing this step unless you're completely rebuilding your engine like I am. And by the way, if you are new to my channel and haven't seen everything I have had to do to this engine up to this point, I'll include a link above and below in the description to all of the videos I have covering my work on this engine. Now when you install your distributor, go ahead and remove the cap from it. There are just two bolts holding it on, one on each side. And the reason you want the cap off is so that you can see the rotor arm on the distributor. As the engine runs, this rotor arm rotates clockwise to contact the terminals for each spark plug on the cap to spark in the following order. One, three, four, two. So when you're putting the distributor in, first you need to have the engine at top dead center for cylinder number one firing. This is marked with the notch on the front of the engine on the harmonic balancer. Then you want to have the rotor arm on the distributor rotated to about four o'clock so that it's as close as possible to sparking cylinder number one. You can kind of see, even with it in place there, without the sort of lock nut holding it down there, you can rotate this piece to adjust that timing. When the engine was assembled in the factory, they notched the distributor and the engine where they meet together. So a good rule of thumb when reinstalling your distributor is to start with it lined up with that notch they made from the factory. And once you've got it lined up, go ahead and tighten down that mounting plate and then screw back on the cap to the distributor and then go ahead and hook everything else back up on the engine and then you'll be ready to test it out. So to check the timing, you're going to need to get a timing light. Now you can probably borrow or rent one from your local auto parts store like AutoZone but if you're wanting to buy your own, the cheapest one I found on Amazon is about $30. First thing you gotta do is hook up the timing light to a positive and negative connection from the battery. For negative, I'll use a stud on the engine, and for positive, I'll use the cable that's going to the starter. Then the last clamp goes on the wiring for the spark plug on cylinder number one. Now you can go ahead and start your engine, and at idle speed, you can point the timing light at the harmonic balancer to see where the notch is as the light strobes. Now I know on this video it can be really hard to see because of the engine RPM against the FPS of the camera, but in this one frame you can clearly see the notch on the harmonic balancer. The other thing that's difficult to see here are the markings that tell you how many degrees before or after top dead center that it's firing. This diagram shows you what those markings actually are. Now keeping those timing marks in the back of our minds, if we look again at where the notch was, we can see it's at about 8 degrees before top dead center. And remember, this is at idle speed, which I have set to about 750 RPMs. Now the last step is adjusting the timing if it needs to be corrected. I'll be the first to admit, when I rebuilt my engine and fired it up for the first time, the timing was so delayed that the engine wouldn't even start. So to adjust the timing, you need to loosen the bolt that's keeping the distributor shell from being able to turn. Now to make the timing later, rotate the distributor clockwise. But to make it earlier, rotate it counterclockwise. So in my case, because the timing was delayed and I needed to speed it up for it to be earlier, I needed to rotate my distributor counterclockwise. And after I made a small adjustment, I went ahead and tried to start the engine again.
I was pretty amazed to see that just making the slightest adjustment in the distributor affected that timing to where now the engine just fires right up and runs great. I did end up adjusting mine probably about five times until I had it right. And for my Mercruiser 3 liter engine, I found that the sweet spot ended up being about eight degrees before top dead center for the timing. But the correct timing is going to be slightly different for each engine, so you can always double check with the manufacturer specs on your engine. But that's all there is to it, and once I found the right adjustment and tightened everything back down, I was ready to go to the lake and have some fun. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up, and if you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments down below. But that is it for today, I will see you guys next time.